Uh, hey, what's up, Facebook agents? It's me, Paul Washington, from the Social Media Marketing Lab. And in this short video, I just want to bring to your attention, if you are an agent that pays for a content posting service, and it's great if you do, um, but there's something you should uh, really understand, and that is is that the content that is being posted to your page is recycled content that gets posted to uh, every other agent that pays for that service. And the reason why this is important, that I think it's important for you to understand, is that you know whenever an agent likes my uh, business page, the Social Media Marketing Lab, I immediately try to reciprocate and ask them to send me a link to their business page so I can like, so I, so I can like that page as well. And what happens is, <clears throat> you know, I have so many agents that like my that, that like my page and I. Re Return the favor that every morning in my personal um, newsfeed, I get all the posts that those agents are posting to their business page. And what happens is, as you can probably you know understand, is that I got to see the exact same post over and over and over and over again in my newsfeed. Um, you know, the same post every day because the, the content posting services post the same content to each each agent's uh, site. And so, you know, the whole idea behind, you know, paying for or posting content in, gen in general to your page is, you know, they say it's to keep you top of mind uh, for prospective clients. And by using a service that recycles content, it has just the opposite effect. It actually makes you less memorable because you're posting the same content as everyone else. Now, you know, if you want to keep posting the content, that's fine. But here's a, a, a thing you can do. Instead of just posting the content or allowing the content to sit on your page the way it is, Perhaps you should <clears throat> download it, and then uh, you actually uh, and just, just make it into uh, an, an article, and, and just just copy the link to the article uh, that's in your um, in your web browser space, and then you post a short video that introduces uh, the the top the topic of the article. That way, you're doing a couple of things. One, you're increasing your your presence in your local market, establishing yourself as an authority, because people can actually see you talking and being more uh, of, a, of an advisor and not a salesperson. And two, um, if you take it a step further and actually turn that video and the link to the article into a video view ad that you can do for like one or two bucks a day, um, you can actually tell Facebook to make what's called a custom audience, which is basically you're just making telling. Uh, Facebook to make a list of all the people that, that view this article, that view this video, and click on the article. And what <clears throat> will allow you to do is, you know, as that group grows, whenever you start doing your sales ads, you know, like your home search offers or your um, home valuation offers, you can have as an audience that you target the actual video viewer audience. And that way, you're not marketing to total strangers. And in a way, you're going to be able to generate more leads because people will already know who you are. So that means that your, your client acquisition rates are going to go through the roof because, you, as I said, you're not marketing to total strangers. And so um, that's definitely something to think about. Uh, so, again, if you're paying for content, um, you know, at least try and, you know, make it a little bit more, uh, put, you know, set, set yourself above everyone else. Take it a step further and just make a short video that you can uh, introduce the, the topic. Um, and that way, you know, people will distinguish you from every other agent who's posting content to that area. So hopefully this information has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to sh uh, send me an email.